Okay, so now we're gonna thread the machine from scratch. I don't recommend ever doing it from scratch. This is the most important part of a sewing machine is how it is threaded. If you screw this up, nothing works very well. So generally, even if you're gonna cut off the uh, spools of thread, you leave the machine threaded, that way you can follow through when you go to set it up again. But in this situation, there's no thread whatsoever. So we're gonna make sure that we're using the outside spool. It's fed up through the arm and completely unencumbered. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the thread and we're gonna put it through these three little notches. We're gonna go from the outside and one, two, and three. So just like that. Then the thread is gonna to come to here. It's gonna go through this top notch. It's gonna go down through this tensioner. We're gonna pull that nice and snug and then down through the hole below the tensioner. This gets a little bit tricky with the camera there, but we're through the hole in the tensioner. Okay, so it should look just like that. Now, down through that hole, it's gonna to go to this other tensioner. This is the tension that we actually get to set. It comes all the way through and up. And this little spring, it goes up and through that spring. It comes down under this arm. So through the spring, under this arm. And it goes up through here. And you give it a little push and it goes through. Then, oh, I need more thread. I lost it all there. Okay. Up through here, just a little push, we'll get it there. The next spot is up here. We'll come from the side. It goes through the little puller arm. It goes down on the other side, and there's this keeper here for it as well. Then it goes down to this one. Then the needle is very important. You need to make sure you put it through this eyelet at the top above the needle. And then the needle always from the outside of the machine to the inside of the machine. So it goes through the needle. And then the last piece is right through the presser foot. And you can just lay that down through like that. And then we can give that thread a pull. There should be some tension, but the thread should move unencumbered. And that's how you change the thread.